What's up, everybody? I think we're live. Uh, if there's anybody in here yet, uh, comment and let me know if you can hear me, please. And uh, we're going to go live, stay live until 8.30 tonight. I think that's when Neves Knives goes live, and uh, we'll drop off right before Neves goes live. We have hit 759 subscribers. That is amazing. Amazing. Going back to the PC tonight, try something new. Um, hopefully it works out well. Time will tell. But got some things I got to work out on the phone to get the phone to work right. So still waiting on these PE2s to come in the mail. I bought mine immediately. Hey, JR. How's the audio? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, still waiting on these PE2s to come in. I ordered immediately after the drop, so I was thinking I'd get one of the first ones, and I uh, guess not, because they already shipped out a bunch. I didn't get a shipment notification, so cool. Glad you can hear me good, then. Got a few more knives in for the knife cell I'm going to be showing you guys. Actually, I got some knives in, all from the same guy, Steven. Some of them are for the knife cell. Some of them are here to get anno work. Hey, Professor Critters. And some of them are just here for the channel to check out. Um, I think they have notes with them that will tell me which is which. So, you know, that'd be pretty cool. And then uh, also finally hit 750. 750. So that's amazing. Got a giveaway for you guys tonight. And uh, we're going to just do one of the random number things. Hey, thanks, Brandon. Got a pretty good giveaway for you guys. Nothing too big. Saving the big stuff for 1000 which uh, should go pretty quickly if we keep growing at the rate we've been growing. So should hit 750 in no time. I'd say at the very, very latest into September, maybe a lot sooner than that if it keeps going like it has been. Hey, Steve. Um, so got some uh, knives to show you guys. We're going to wait a few minutes give people a chance to get in here. Um, what's everybody carrying today? Video is going to be in here, or the giveaway is going to be in here, Brandon. It's going to be like a random number thing. Pick a number between such and such, and closest without going over will win. I'll go ahead and show you guys what the giveaway will be. I'm going to give away a, another pack of the overpriced doodads. Uh, we have a paracord keychain from Alley Cord. Alley cord paracord on Instagram. Got a bunch of stickers here. Way a knife, my sticker, uh, Tri State, EMP EDC, another Tri State, Beast Blades, Wayne Sharp World, Big Red issuing stitches, Vist Blade Works, REC, Mattis Faction, another one of mine, Q Ball, and JD for EDC. And then we also have a QSP Penguin carbon fiber version this was donated to the channel by uh, my buddy julio who is uh sending some cool knives in that you guys are gonna be super excited to see he does uh chops like blade chops and uh man the ones i've seen that he's done are pretty amazing so he's gonna send some in for me to show on the channel in case anybody wants to uh get some knives chopped if you live in one of those crazy states where you got to be under three inches you know that's where he's at. He's in one of those crazy states. And he's been just doing it for himself and for his friends. But, um, you know, I told him he does such good work. He should uh, advertise and probably get get some more work. Hey, speak of the devil. There he is. Julio himself. <laughs> hey, Canadian Knifeine. Hey, Jason. Yeah, that Chavez 229 is a beast. I just wish they'd go back to where the screw pocket clip screws were coming in from underneath the scale and not in his forehead. Yeah, I have the uh, large penguin coming in on a, a pass around group. I sh should be here pretty soon. I also have the baby penguin coming too. to check out on the channel. Yeah, Jason, you just missed one, buddy. Last night, so there was a there was a Don in there and there was a 
Mini Tempest also. I think I, that was you I talked to about those two. Yeah, both of those sold pretty quickly. Actually, the Dawn sold pretty quickly. The, the Tempest uh, took a little longer to sell, but it did sell. Got a lot of cool stuff. Hey, Jasper, how you doing, man? Got a lot of cool stuff in this next sale, too. So a lot of really cool stuff. But I'm just excited to get these in. I know these are more budget knives. These variants are. I can't wait to get them with a front flipper. It's going to be so good to have a front flipper on this knife. This is one I customized myself. Anode the scales and acid etched the blade. Such good action. Good ergos on these knives. For the money, it's hard to beat these knives, honestly. 14C, 28N blade still. I love them. I already have a couple, and I ordered two more of the new one. Yeah, I'm excited about it too, Brandon. And my understanding is uh, they're, they're not going to be D2. Even the budget in brand, if I'm correct, they're 14C, 28N. So, uh, and then they're going to have some more premium versions of stuff too. Hey, Professor Critters, there's a Kaiser Mini Sheepdog. One of these with the uh, removable flipper tab in this next knife cell. Exactly like this. This one's mine, but another one was sent in for the cell. I've already taken my flipper tab off. I'm not big flipper guy. I'd rather not have the flipper. But there will be one of these in the knife cell. So it's actually Julio that sent that in, if I remember correctly. Same guy that sent in this knife. Somebody's going to win tonight. So such a good knife. Vera neuron and a lot of bandages. Oh, y'all want to see something gross? Give me a one in the chat if you want to see my finger, a two if you don't. The majority wins. This is going through my PC, and the video quality is looking much better tonight from what I can see. Give me a one in the chat if you want to see the finger, a two if you don't. I have to keep it unwrapped right now because uh, so it can dry up and heal up. Okay, all one so far. So here we go. There we go. Focus on my finger. That's what a belt sander does to your finger when you get caught in it. Pretty, uh, pretty nasty stuff. There you go. Starting to crust over. But right here, it actually sanded down to it met the bone, like right there, all the way down to the bone. Took the nail with it. Pretty gnarly. Starting to feel better already, though. I mean, it's still super. Actually, I have no filling right here on the tip of my finger because I did a bunch of nerve damage. So it's numb right there. But up here, it hurts like hell. And if I bump it on anything, goodness. So I'm actually going back to work tomorrow. I'm just going to wrap it up nice and thick. And uh, yeah, exactly. Canadian knife in. Could have been a whole hell of a lot worse. But my, uh, it's a belt sander. And my finger was in a space. What can I show you? That's that thickness. I don't know. About it, probably the thickness of this scale right here. Uh, maybe a little thicker than that, but it had sucked my knife, my finger. Well, this side was against the sandpaper. This side was against like the plastic guard into a slot that far and just it was crushing my finger at the same time. So it feels better right now, but I'm also taking ibuprofen and uh, hydrocodone. So you know, probably doesn't feel as good as I think it feels right now. I'm just uh, masking the pain. So I don't, I can't, I don't like taking hydrocodone. That shit, I don't know, man. Makes me feel funky. Funky, but not in a good way. Can't sleep either when I take that crap. So I can't take it when I go to bed. But yeah, this is going to be uh, the 750 subscriber giveaway tonight. We're going to do the numbers game. And uh, we'll do that a little bit later. But I got some knives sent in by Steven. Steven's a patron. And he sent in, like I said at the beginning, if you just got here, he sent in some for uh, the knife cell, some for uh, anodizing work, and some just to check out on the channel. And I think they have notes on them, so I can tell what's what. But uh, chicks dig scars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, hydrocodone makes me hyperactive for some reason. I don't know why. Some people take hydrocodone and puts them to sleep. It does the exact opposite to me. I can't take it. I got to wait. Can't take it a few hours before I go to bed. Oh, 
Oh, no. I, I, they only gave me like 10 of them, dude. So I'll take them for – I think I've only taken three so far. So I don't need any more. I'll, I'll deal with it. So it's not too, too bad. All right, let's check in some of these knives here that were sent in. Well, I guess I don't know what's for sale and what's for not. They're just labeled. So we have a Kubi Vagrant. There's already one of these in the knife cell. So we're going to have – no, that's not the Vagrant. That's the uh, – I can't remember the other one. So we got a Kubi Vagrant sent in. I think this is for the knife cell. I could be wrong, though. So guys, don't hold me to anything on these. I got to talk to Steven to find out exactly what's for the sale and what's not. So Kubi Vagrant sent in here. Get that great Kubi action. Great reverse flicking action. Great thumb flicking action. All right. There's another one in this bag. Uh, Civivi uh, Hadros. Civivi Hadros. Ooh, that's a mean looking knife. Good action on that one, too. So we got a Civivi and a Kubi. What else we got? We have several more over here. So got the cards in the bag. So put them back where they go. This one only has one in the bag. Oh, it's the Asticus. There's a mini Asticus last time. No, actually, I did a video on a mini Asticus uh, that I got from JD for EDC. So this is the full-size Asticus. This is a big Asticus. It's a really big Asticus. The last Asticus was a much smaller Asticus. That's a big knife. Yeah, I see why they made a smaller version. This is just too, this is too big for me anyway. All right, what else we got here? Make room. All right, we got a couple in this one. And they're tangled together with their notes. All right, let's see here. All right, we have a Civivi Ortus. Ooh, I like that one. Ooh, nice drop shetty action. Stiff detent on this one for sure. Yeah, definitely a reverse flicker or a flipper. It's stiffer because it's got that flipper tab. Is that a hollow grind? Yeah, hollow grind on that one. All right. So we got an Ortis. Get my bags in order here. A couple more packages coming. I'd, I was hoping they would be here before uh, this live, but they didn't make it. Oh, here's a mini Asticus. We got a mini Asticus. This is the, uh, I think that's brass. Man, that's got some weight to it for sure. So the Asticus I had was the uh, wood, one with the wood on it. Yeah, big difference. Great. This one weighs more than the big one, though, because of those scales. Yeah, I like the mini Asticus. It's a good size knife. This, man, this thing's got to be six ounces for such a small knife. It is beefy for sure. Is that brass or bronze? I'm going to say that's brass with the bronze. It's just patinaed. Beefy. Very beefy. All right. Get this bag in order. I've got uh, the spreadsheets done so far. I haven't added these in yet, but... I, I'm going to have the pricing done by this weekend. And all you patrons out there, I'll upload the spreadsheet to Patreon for you. This is a camber. Kershaw camber. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen this Kershaw before. Oh, this is assisted. That's why I've never seen it before. I'm not a big fan of assisted knives. But I guess in states where autos are illegal... If you want to carry something that, that's assisted, it's nice to have. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Kershaw Camber. 
S30V blade still on that one. Cool. Very cool. All right. Now we got some in some pouches here. Uh, let's see. This is a master up. Ooh. Uh, there's no notes saying the mod. Sorry. It's, uh, I think it's Tashi Sh Shakura? Sharuka? Tashi Sharuka? Jeez. That thing's a guillotine. That's a different deployment holder. It's so big I can stick my finger through it. You gotta be careful how far you stick your finger in there. The blade will catch you on the open. I like this. A lot of skeletonized work on the handle there. Is that a integral? No, no, it's not an integral. I can see the seam now. Done very well, though. Steven's actually one that bought that uh, Mini Tempest that was in the last knife cell. The guy that sent these knives in, he bought the Mini Tempest. Very nice. There's a couple more drop knives in here, if I remember correctly. Um, oh, we got a ZT here. This is one that's here for anno work. I remember this one. Man, this has got to be seven ounces. Every bit of seven ounces. Jeez. Yeah, we could do a cool two-tone milling with this for sure. Or two-tone uh, anoing with the way the milling is on this for sure. Ooh, that had some good action. This is the 0801 LMAX Steel Rexford design. Man, that's a beefy knife. That's probably over six ounces. This knife needs thumb studs, in my opinion. I know a lot of people like flippers only. I've never been a big flipper only guy. I don't think I've ever seen the ZT before. Yeah, I'm not sure what colors we're going to go with on this yet. He wanted me to look at it, look at them before we made a decision. But yeah, we could do some killer anno work on this, especially with the Zero Tolerance logo engraved in there. You could have all the zero tolerance logo and then the lower sections of the milling all one color and then the flats and every the high areas all separate color or we could do a dip under different voltages and make it multi colors you could do all kinds of cool stuff with this one i think it'd be cool to bring the anno up right to this line right here and uh just dip it where it just comes right we well, take it all the way and extend that off but yeah, that's a cool one. That's a beefy knife. All right. What else we got over here? Got another mass drop case. There's two in here. Ooh, I think I see Zerka tie clip here. Where is that Timascus? I don't know. What is this one? This is Oaksworks RWL34 Master Up. Man, I like this. I'm not sure what that. This is carbon fiber. What is this up here? Is that just G10 made to look like it's a rock pattern? I think. Purple hardware and Timascus pocket clip. You can see the uh, finish is worn off the pivot collar there. That's easy to put back on. Interesting blade shape. Definitely got some poon action going on here. Wild grind. Flat grind. Great action. Steven likes the bigger knives. It's pretty obvious at this point. This thing's a guillotine. Very nice. That's a thick blade stock, too. That's got to be 150,000 thick. Definitely got a lot of weight. Are those liners titanium? I'm curious. Yeah, titanium liners. 
Very nice. Never seen that one before either. I like that. I like that one a lot. All right. Got another one in that pouch. I see more Timascus, I think. Yep. More Timascus. Yeah, we can sand that down. Steven, if you're watching, we can sand that down, get those scratches out, make that look beautiful again. Polish out the pivot too. Another Oaks Works. I don't know what model this is, but it's got a Ford finger choil. I like it already. Good ergos on that one. Yeah. Very nice. Anybody know what model this is? It's a mass drop. Actually, yeah, it's got the drop logo on it. So it's a mass drop collaboration with Oaks Works. Never seen it before. It must be one of their older, older collabs. Stout detent. Fires out. Goodness. I mean, you just barely push that. When that thing breaks, I don't know if I can get it to show up on camera. It just fires out of there. All right, we got another pouch over here. Another drop pouch. Got two in this one also. All right, what do we have here? I don't think this is a drop knife. Yeah, it is a drop knife. It's another drop I'm not familiar with. It just says mass drop 0657 S35 VN blade still. I have no idea what this one is. Ooh. Whatever it is, it's got really good action. Very good action. Buttery smooth. Is that on washers? That might be on washers. It feels like washer action. It's got that glassy, smooth feeling like washers. Teensy tiny pocket clip. All right. And last one for the knife sit in for this batch. I know that's a ZT before I even look. I can tell just by the shape of it, it's got to be a ZT. What ZT is it though? Hmm, I like that. That marbled carbon fiber. This is the 0470 uh, Sinkovich design. It reminds me a lot of this Sinkovich design that I have here. Just a lark. Is that this? 0470 and 0450. So very similar knives. This one is in the knife cell, by the way. I'm not sure about this one. I think this one. Not sure if this is for the cell or for anno work. I think he wanted to do some anno on this. But I'll follow up with him on that. Whew. That's definitely on bearings and very good action. Very minimal flipper tab, but it works well. Light switch, push button, both work really well. Guys, I got a live show. I should go and tell you guys this. I have a live stream scheduled for uh, National Knife Day. I think I scheduled for 7 p.m. And I have a knife sent in by a manufacturer that I'm doing a review of. And uh, I'm not allowed to release any information about it until August 23rd. And uh, so I'm going to drop my overview video and Instagram posts and all that stuff on the 23rd. And then I'm going to give that knife away to one of you guys on the 24th. So it was sent in to me for free. I didn't pay for it. Full disclosure. But you will get an honest review. I'll be completely honest. When I first saw this knife and they asked me if I wanted to check it out, I wanted to check it out. But I thought to myself, I don't think I'm going to like that. I really don't think I'll like it. But I've had it for a couple days now. And it has really surprised me. It's a fidgeting monster. It will become one of yours, and I'm not allowed to tell you what it is. So this is just a teaser. I'm not allowed to show it to you or tell you anything about it. So 
All right. Put some of these up here. And uh, I got to get with Steven. Where's the other ZT at? Is this it? No, it's Kurt. There's the other ZT. That is a beast of a knife right there. This could do some killer anno work on this one. This could be done so many different ways and look so good. I wonder if that titanium, if that clip is titanium. Because I don't have the ability to do a, a DLC or PPD coating. But I could definitely sand that off and put some color on it if it's titanium. Break out the old Dremel. Um, Takashi. This is another one of the more interesting ones. I don't know how I feel about it because I, when I flick it, it's such a big hole that when I flick it, my fingers want to catch it right there. So I got to be sure I stay back far enough to where it doesn't catch my finger on the way up. I'm sure you get used to it after you flip it enough. Thumb flick may be better, actually. I love the shape of the blade. Really like the shape of the blade. Good ergos on it, too. Tashi, Tashi Sharuka. Sharuka? Sarucha? Something like that. Sorry, bump the camera. All right, let me get, uh, get some of these out of the way here. This is another one I really like. If I know which oak works this is. Yeah, she told me not to tease, but it's like kids at Christmas, right? You buy them a present, you put it under the tree, and it's wrapped up. They don't know what it is. Is that teasing your kids? Or are you supposed to put them all out on Christmas Eve after they go to bed? I, I always, We always put ours out, you know, as we bought, bought them, and we'd wrap them and put them under the tree. That way we weren't scrambling on Christmas Eve to try to get everything wrapped you know, it was just easier. Camber, camber. I think that's this thing. Kershaw camber. Pretty sure. Mm. All right. Now you're always late, Craig. Mini Asticus. I swear, I got it. I just got to know how much this knife weighs. It's so little, but so heavy. It's got to be six ounces. Only five? Man, it's deceiving. I guess it's because it's so small, it just feels a lot heavier than it actually is. Not often you get two ass to kisses, ass to kiss in one day, you know? All right. Which one of these is the Ortis? I should have paid better attention. I don't think it matters. I'll Google them and figure them out. Um, there's the full size ass to kiss. This is a big ass to kiss. I imagine people weren't a very big fan of this one. I mean, I love the hollow grind, but it's just so damn big. It's enormous. First time I've ever had one of those in hand. All right. We got the Vagrant here. And the Hadros. This is the Hadros. And this one was the... No, this is the Hadros. That's the Hadros. Got them backwards. That's a Mallory design, right? The Hadros. If I remember correctly. I think that's a Mallory design. You guys seen the new uh, Mallory Force he's about to release? He's been showing the uh, 
previews of or the uh, prototype on Instagram. Man, that thing looks sick. Looks so sick. Yeah, to the Crooked River. Yeah, I have the mini Crooked River here at the moment, but this is just a mini. But yeah, the, it probably is comparable to the regular Crooked River. Because it for a mini, this thing's huge, you know? It's got to be eight inches. So uh, let's do pocket checks real quick. What's everybody carrying today? I can't show you my pocket check because it's that knife I was telling you about that uh, I can't show you to August 23rd, and I'm going to give it away to one of you on August 24th. And I only carried one knife today because of the finger issue. No point in having one in the left pocket at the moment. I've had everything in my right pocket. AD 20.5, Tucson TS223. Nine millimeter. I hear you, M Camp. Go big or go home. Yojimbo 2. I love my Yojimbo 2. I love this knife. I love my AD 20.5 also. Killer knives. Sincut Sashi. That's the button, new button lock, right, Idy? Is that the new button lock? I think it is. How's the action on that if it is? Which Chavez did you have, Jason? The 229? Ah, you got one of the premium penguins. How's the action on that one, Idy? Jasper has that land, Brandon. Uh, JSPR underscore EDC. I think that's the land he's got. And he rants and raves about that thing, too. The full tie. Okay. Full tie. Does it have a lot of button stick, ID? The Neutron. 8020.5. Lynch All Access. Olight Arkfeld. And a Mighty Hank. Very nice. Very nice. The Wee Beacon, very nice. Better than the Neutron? The You mean the uh, Neuron? Uh, these are, uh, I got these at White Mountain Knives. Uh, these are Flytanium. So I think you can get them on Flytanium.com. White Mountain Knives may still have them in stock. They weren't expensive either. They were only like $65 with uh, discount. You can go look real quick, see if they have them in stock. Um, let's go look. Oh, no, they're out of stock. $85, but you get 10% off of that if you use a code. Um, I think Flytanium has them. Could be wrong about that. Sold out. They're sold out too. Well, shit. Yeah, just go to White Mountain Knives and put uh, put your email in. They'll notify you when, um, when they get them back in. And then use your favorite YouTuber's code. I don't have a code. I'm not worthy of a code yet. So tell me, guys, this is the uh, webcam that had terrible picture quality before. I see I'm having some focusing issues right now. I think that's because I got so much crap out in the background. But um, focus. Focus. The quality's better, though, right? I lost my middle finger. <laughs> I went off Wi-Fi and ran an Ethernet cable over here and just go straight off Ethernet. That way, um, I think it should be better that way. Let's see now. How's the focus now? But yeah, I love these purple haze scales here. These can You get these at DLT trading. Focus. 
Yeah, I may just have to keep using the phone. The phone limits me in what I can do, though. It's very limited. But these are the uh, raindrop carbon fiber scales. Maybe I'll find them somewhere else if you look around. A lot of people sell titanium stuff, so. And then this pocket clip, I anodize myself, and then I use my Dremel and put, like, swirl marks in it to try to match the scales. I think it turned out pretty good. I think it goes well with the way the carbon fiber is. You guys want to see something that's super beautiful. I'm going to show you my number one grill knife that I have here on loan at the moment from Q-Ball. The Titanium TRM Shadow. This is a this is a piece of art. Truly beautiful knife and fantastic action. Just so good, so smooth, so easy to deploy. I'm gonna be doing an overview on this one, and he actually sent in the uh, the G10 version also, so get to compare the two. Definitely a lot more weight on this one than this one. This one's much lighter weight, but action's pretty much the same. Um, just fantastic knives, man. Made in the USA. When you can find one, the price is really not that bad for what you're getting. The problem is just finding one. Being at the right place at the right time when they drop some. What time we got here, guys? 8.06? Okay. How many people we got in here right now watching? Uh, looks like we've had 18 watching. So your odds are going to be pretty good to win. And uh, who are the mods here? Okay, I'm going to have to pick a number. And uh, let me find a post-it note to write a number on. And a Sharpie. And I'll just write it right here where everybody can see it. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. So numbers. How many people are in here again? 20 people watching. We're going to do between 1 and 50. And don't, don't put your number in yet. Um, Jasper, when... Um, when... Uh, when I tell you I'm ready, you put start in the chat, then everybody can start. When I tell you I've written the number down. So I'm going to do it like this. Between 1 and 20. Make sure that didn't show up on camera. Oh, it did show up on camera. I got to start over. Damn it. All right, I'm just going to write it down off camera. Um, it's going to be between 1 and 20. When I say to tell them to go, Jasper, you tell them to go. Let's fold this up. We'll put it right there. Hold on. We have 22 watching now. So I said 1 in 20, right? Hmm. I think I'm going to change that to between 1 and 50. Yeah, I know. I'm scatterbrained. We'll do between 1 and 50. It's the hydrocodone, trust me. I don't take pain pills, and man, they make me a bit loopy. A bit loopy. Yeah, between 1 and 50 and Jasper. Jasper, you still in here? If you're still in here, Jasper, let me know. Actually, Craig, you're in here. Craig, 
I went when Craig A, actually when A V Joe A V dot Joe put start in the chat, you guys start. Okay. And then you start guessing between one and fifty. First to get it without going over wins. Must be in the United States, must be 18 years of age or older. All right. So when you see av.joe say start, start guessing, and uh, we'll let it run for a minute. Everybody can guess the number. There you go. There's your start, Mark. And while you're guessing, I'll go ahead and pull it out here. All right, let it go for about a minute at 8.12. AV Joe, I'd like 8.12 type stop in the chat, if you don't mind, please. Yeah, this camera just has serious focusing issues. Focus. No, no multiple guesses. One guess per person. Just like every other, every other giveaway. No, it's eight eight twelve now. Stop, Joe. AV Joe, tell them to stop. I think everybody's already guessed. Yeah, no problem. No problem, zoology. Somebody got it and got it pretty quick. Okay. The number, so we'll scroll to the top of the chat and see who got it first, because I saw it a couple times. Number was lucky number 17. So, who got it first is the question. It looks like from when Craig's or A.V. Joe said start. So there's the start. It looks like ID, IDOC. Was the first one with number 17. Then Yoda's Doug, Yoda Doug's tool collecting channel got it shortly after, but ID got it. So ID will be the winner. Congratulations, ID. You won a penguin, a penguin, a nice penguin, too. And uh, if you aren't following Julio on Instagram, give him a follow. I'll link it in the. Actually, let me go ahead and link his. Julio's Instagram. Julio's the one that's doing blade chops that I was telling you guys about. He's going to send some in for me to show you guys on the channel. And um, yeah, if you guys need to get something chopped, he does really good work. So that's Julio's Instagram. Julio donated this penguin to the channel for a giveaway. So ID finally won one. Focus, camera, focus. Camera does not focus. Very good action on this knife. To be on washers, it's just ridiculously good action. I love the penguin. One of my favorite knives, for sure. Here's another penguin right here. And another penguin right here. This penguin's leaving, going to a new owner, working out a trade on this one. I'm not sure what we're trading yet, Craig. I don't know if we ever figured it out yet, what we're doing, but that will be coming back to you with your uh, anode knives. Julio in in YouTube, Julio is not actually Julio. Julio is some restaurant. 
he does like custom uh he does like welding and grinding on like stainless steel in restaurants like in the kitchens he was in here earlier i don't know if he's still in here or not let me look and find him find his name real quick on youtube but he needs to start making youtube videos showing his uh blade chops because man he makes some killer looking stuff but he does blade chops for big chef's knives for a lot of these big restaurants in like the Chicago area and Illinois, but he's doing them on uh, folders too. So yeah. Oh, Jason, uh, the guy that donated the bug out to the channel, he wanted those walnut scales back. So he's sorry about that, brother. I'm sending those bug out scales back to him. Yeah, the odds were good tonight. There weren't that many people in here, so. Yeah, sorry about that, man. But I am going to be, these uh, scales here, Jason, were donated to the channel. And I am going to be swapping those scales out with these aluminum scales. Um, well, flip this over. So, uh I'll be happy to pay it forward with these blue titanium scales. If you're interested in these. I don't think the person that donated them to me would be upset about that. So. Oh, he can have them. Never mind, Jason. You can have those walnut scales. You take your pick, Jason. You want the titanium or the walnut? Uh, you're welcome, Canadian knifing. <laughs> you want the Thai ones instead? I, I feel you. Just know when you go to install these, you have to fully disassemble the knife. You can't take one scale off and put one on because the standoffs are ovals and they're not both facing the same direction or at least on the like those walnut scales that were on here when i went to take those off i tried to get one scale to go on and they would not fit but then some craig i think it was when they told me take it fully apart and then they lined up properly i had to turn the standoffs and you can't do that with one scale still on so i had to fully disassemble it to install them but they work great they fit great um I'm going to take this back to like an OEM Benchmade spec with the, these are actual Benchmade scales here. And uh, to do a versus video, I'm going to be doing to do a comparison video. So um, that's why I want to put those back on. Plus down the road, I'm probably going to have some uh, lava flow fat carbon scales or Mars Valley flat fat carbon scales. So. Hey, cue ball. Thanks for dropping in, man. We're going to be dropping off here soon anyway, because Neve's Knives is going to be starting soon. And uh, we all know what happens when Neve's starts up. Ghost town. <laughs> I doubt I'll be uh, in Neve's stream tonight, though. I hadn't slept well the past couple of nights because of this finger thing. And um, I think tonight I'm finally going to sleep. I'm finally starting to feel good enough to where I think I can make it through the night without bumping it and waking up in the middle of the night. So I'm looking forward to a good night's sleep. So Yeah, Jasper, that's going to make it heavy, man. It's going to make it a heavy penguin. You put copper scales on it. going to be much heavier so id you know the deal um actually i've already sent you my address to send me your knife to anodize so actually i think i've got your address stored in my address book id so um you may not have to uh actually, i bet i can fit some of this in this box you may not have to send me your address let me check definitely fit some stickers in there nah I'll just package it all up separately. So I'll get that shipped out to you. Uh, I don't think I'll have time tomorrow, Idy. Maybe I can do it Saturday morning, but 
worst case, I'll ship it out to you on Monday morning. So, all right. Yeah, see, I, I, I think of the penguin as just a lightweight EDC knife. Making it heavy to me just doesn't feel right. I want it to be lightweight. I think it's, yeah, it's like a bug out, you know? I don't think I'd like a bug out heavy. I don't think I'd like a penguin heavy. I could be wrong. If I ever felt one that was heavy, I might feel differently, but yeah. Yeah, message me on Instagram, Jason. We'll get it all worked out. That's going to force me to go ahead and uh, disassemble this. Get me motivated. I think we're going to have to go back to the phone next time, guys, because I'm looking at my stream right now, and it is blurry as AF. It is so blurry. Why will it not focus? It seems like it will focus if there's not multiple things in the background like that. It gets kind of focused. Got to figure this out. All right, guys. Thank you all for being here. And uh, keep an eye out for next week's live stream. Like I said, there was a knife sent into the channel for me to do a overview of. It was sent by the manufacturer. I'll release the video on the 23rd for that and some stuff on Instagram for it. And on the 24th, I'm going to do a National Knife Day live stream. And I will... Uh, you know, do a give a giveaway that knife, which I can't tell you what it is during that live stream. So it was given, given them donate, not donated. It's given to me to do a review of after my review, I'll give it to one of you. So, and it's a really cool knife. I'm telling you, it's a fidget monster. I really like this knife, but uh, I feel like I should give it to someone else since it was given to me. So, all right. All right, guys, have a great night. Thank you all for being here, and I will see you guys on the next one.